of things that have just happened. Because the very wind that brought you into this position you are sitting is the very wind that came to this palace. It swept away people and left people. By the tradition of humanity and particularly of the Northwest, nothing finishes, nothing dies. So these two phones, these three phones are here to prove the indispensability of man. To prove the dispensability of man and indispensability of our traditions. Because the people will go, but our traditions will stay. And they are surviving under different conditions. Because now we are surviving in adversity. We are actually progressing in adversity. We all know what is happening in our provinces. We all know what is happening in the world. But nothing is changing, nothing is negative for them because the frontiers have become big, even wider. The frontiers is not going across one river, or across one hill, but it's going from one university to another, going from one continent to the other. And right here we have people who have gone to all those continents, who have gone to all the universities, who have had all the diplomas. We have a Prince of Mancon here who is a professor. <coughs> professor, welcome. We have an Elijah Obama here who is managing the finances of the country. You're more welcome. We have the Colonel Manton here who has been dispensing knowledge all over. Welcome. And we have our brother who is the highest level of magistrate and is in the Senate of Cameroon. They will say welcome. We have the front and chief here from the South West who say welcome. And we have all of you from Manco in the Northwest. Some people think I've thought that is a problem. But it's not a problem, it's an advantage. Because the number of Manco people and the number of Baba people who are here to welcome the people of Baba and the people of Manco are even greater. You go to New York, you go to Minnesota, you go even to Seattle, you go even to Canada. Then you come to the Brazil, you see the Spanish in Manco. It shows how big we have become the frontiers of the our part in the past we always beat those rankers. We always win. The people of the Norways always win. We are winners. And on that winning move, I welcome to your majesty. I welcome the anymore. I welcome all of our brothers. Who have come here this afternoon. I welcome all of you 
and say this is a time for celebration. Let's celebrate progress in adversity. Let's celebrate the new frontiers we are conquering. Let's celebrate life. Thank you all. It is a great pleasure that all of us have this opportunity to come before our Lord, our, our Majesty, our Lord, to celebrate the unfortunate act of the Lord. His Majesty would have come here to visit him earlier. We have gone through it, and the Majesty thinks that this is the right occasion now for him to talk here to me. Because the two villages are insecure. If for those from of us who have lived long, we know the occasion when they have to be present for the The two forms then presented to them. So the time between the form of Mankon and the form of Baba one is not a new one. And we cannot allow that to fall. We really want you to continue, and for this reason, that is what is has decided to bring the Mankon population here in Yaounde. Now, the unfortunate situation in our home, in our uh, regions, have made some of us out of our homes, but we pray and we hope that this is just something that is going to pass sooner or later. And when that happens, we will have time again to be in our ancestral home. So we thank all of you who have been able to make it and to make this occasion what it is to be. And we thank you all, your majesties, for this occasion which you have given us to be together with you and your, your people. His Royal Highness, Senator, the Fon of Bangolan. His Royal Highness, the Fon of Papiakpu. I take this opportunity to welcome all of you here in our Yaounde Palace on behalf of the Baba community here in Yaounde. We are very, very grateful for this courtesy visit that you decided to come with all your people to render to our young folk. Before I finish, I would like to recall one of the reasons why we are all here. As you all know, Fue Kamshi, the second, had a malaise and went out and disappeared in a foreign land. That was on the 2nd of May, 2023. The dark cloud that hung over the village was so disturbing. All the Baba people went out searching for him. And with the assistance of the government, we had enough funds to go right to Dubai, where we found where he was hiding. We brought him back home, and uh, on the day, he reappeared because funds never died. When he reappeared, he was shown to the public and to the government publicly on the 13th of May, 2023. <coughs> and here in front of you, you have the phone who disappeared and came back. 
this is the phone of Baba who is seated here with you people. I use again this opportunity to say you are all welcome to this our family. <coughs> Notwithstanding, our young phone has a lot of challenges. All the will wishers, all our well wishers, all our friends that we are going to continue giving you shall all be welcome. He has so many children. He has so many women. He has so many small brothers and sisters to take care of. If we don't assist him, he will not be able to meet with all the challenges. Once more, I say welcome to the people of Mankon and uh, to all those who accompany His Royal Majesty for this courtesy visit. As you came here without any joining mercies and God blessing will take you back to your various homes. You are welcome, His Royal Highness.